Thanks for staying with us. It's time for another I Create Club segment sponsored by Vitaform. Vitaform has been consistent in supporting the club's activities across 100 primary schools because they have a passion for investing in the next generation. Today on the show, we'll be having and speaking with Elizabeth, the 2021-2022 winner of the club's business plan competition. Welcome to the show, Elizabeth. Thank you. Yes, so before you go any further, tell us about yourself and introduce the person next to you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Moakman. I am nine years old. I attend the Living Springs schools and I'm in grade six. I am the winner of the I Create Club Business Plan category, sponsored by Vitaform Nigerian PLC. And here with me is Mrs. Gabriel, my teacher. Good morning. Great. So before we go Good further, morning, good to have Thank you. you. Thank Gabriel. you very much. So before we get into further, we're going to show the 40 seconds clip um, of her. The fantastic job she's done. Watch this. What were you thinking before your name was announced? Because the look on your face just was <laughs> priceless. I felt very excited. I felt very excited. It was a magical moment for me. I'm very grateful to the I Create Club and Vitaform Nigeria PLC for giving me the platform to express myself. Mm. Okay, so... I saw in that video that you had your face on a newspaper. I think it was Punch newspaper. How did, yes. you, how did you arrive at that? I felt very blessed. I felt like a celebrity. Mm. <laughs> so I heard that, this, um, that your business idea was inspired by your frequent trip to the salon with your mom. Tell us about that. Okay, thank you very much. I can remember like yesterday, the first time my mom told me we were going to the salon. I was so excited because I thought a salon is a place where you can relax and have fun while making your hair. But when I got to the salon, it was all different. There were adult size chairs, adult TV programs, and even adult conversations were going on. I was so disappointed, oh. as if that was not enough. When it was my turn to make my hair, the hairdresser pulled and pulled my hair until I began to cry. <laughs> then my mom intervened and said we were going home. That was the first time I conceived the idea of a salon only meant for children. Hmm, amazing. I'm glad that your disappointment helped you come up with a plan to have a children's salon. So can you tell us some of your plans, your vision for that, your children's salon? Okay. I thought, why can't there be a salon where children can relax and have fun while making their hair? Why can't there be a salon where children can be treated nicely and kindly while making their hair? Why can't there be a salon with children's size church, children TV programs, and where children can feel safe to interact with themselves? Wow. Then I said, I'm going to have a salon that has all those features. Well, I'm sure yeah. you're super, you're, you must be very proud of yourself. I can see your teacher has a basket that you yes, brought on. Yes, these are her stuff. Can you let us in on what is... Okay. What in is this it? basket, I have some things I will need to start my business. This is a hair dryer for drying my customer's hair. Mm. This is a conditioner for treating my customer's hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a clipper for cutting my customer's hair. Mm. This is a comb for combing my customer's hair. Here also, I have a record book to keep record of my finances and the customers that come Whoa. to my salon. <laughs> Already. 
<laughs> Money solves this one. I hear you have some flyers too. Tell us about the flyers. You can have a look at some. Please, you need to. Nice. Okay. Wow. So I, I made the design with my mom, and the printer helped us to print it out as a means of reaching out to my customers and letting them know about my services. You seem to have thought out everything for this hour. Yes. Because I'm definitely going to capitalize you, okay? Mm -hmm. But um, what is your uh, plan to stand out in the salon okay. industry? Actually, I haven't seen any around my area. I believe that mine is going to be the first around. Even if you will see some places that claim to be children's salon, they don't maintain children-friendly standard. But in my own salon, it's going to be a place with children TV content. That's why we are going to have a chaperone station to ensure that the salon is as it should be. In addition, I'm going to provide interesting books for my customers to engage their minds positively while making their hair. Those books, yeah. This, uh, this is an example of a book I'm going to have in my salon. In fact, my salon is going to be more than just a salon. It's going to be a place where my customers can bond, share ideas, and simply hmm. be happy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like, very, very commendable. Simply put, I have a dream of a world-class salon which will last for many years. Ah. Ah. This is what she has here. Well, a little bit you said that you wanted to be a teacher. Do you still want to be a teacher, and how do you plan to combine this with your business? Yes, you're very right. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. A role, I think that a role of a teacher is to impact knowledge. So my dream is to take teaching to the salon by spreading nuggets of knowledge through books and other provided materials in the salon. Here I have some, some notes that will that will inspire my customers to keep reading. There's no such thing as a child who hates to read. There are only children who have not found the right book. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so I heard that you haven't um, spent your prize money. You haven't used it to buy snacks and patents and stuff. How come? What do you plan to use with it? You're very right, Ma. I'm very passionate about my, my dream of a children's salon. So I have no intention of touching my price money until that dream comes to a fulfillment by God's grace. Wow. And to teach her. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much. I'm truly grateful. Okay, Elizabeth is a pupil from the Living Spring Schools, and this great achievement is a result of the hard work and contribution of all the staff at the school. At the Living Spring Schools, we provide rounded Christian education that enables our learners to excel using their God-given talent. We train our children to be best in class by global academic standard, where they can excel, become leaders of influence by themselves. Now, what we are celebrating today is creativity at its peak. And we are talking about Elizabeth's creativity. And this came out of her own personal experience. Now, like we have the midterm now. So whenever we have midterm in school, we give them what we call the midterm project. So while she was in grade four, the midterm project for that time was to design an advert for a sports event. And it was already projected on the smart board. But something happened immediately. I got this inspiration. So at this point, I'll give the credit. I'll acknowledge God at this point. It was not me. What I wanted them to do was on the smart board already. But the idea was now create and design an advert of your choice. I told them, you need to tell me the purpose of your advert, the message behind your advert, your target audience, your market, and the prizes you'll be giving out. You know, I was able to create this picture in their minds that you could see their eyes sparkling. I knew they understood right. what I was trying to say. So when they got home, they came back with amazing, you know, adverts. Hers was about a saloon, beautiful pictures. I had this other child, he came with robot, the other one with ice cream. And so I needed to publish them at the entrance of the school hallway. That same day, we had parents calling. 
where is the salon? Because there was a contact on it. And the mom called me. And the mom called me and said, Mrs. Gabriel, what's happening? I'm getting calls. I say, yes, we've started business. So we are into it. And you know, that was in her grade four. So while she was in grade five, I was now the class teacher. That was when the iCrate Club came in and said for grade five, they're going to draw a business plan. And I now told them, voila, no stress here because what we are going to do here is what you've done before right. in grade four. Right. So they should just go ahead. And she did. She was picked. We came for the presentation out of five schools. She was declared the winner. Fantastic. So we are truly grateful. Great. You're very grateful. Well, so that, that was, I mean, that's been phenomenal. And I congratulate you for the great job you've done so Thank far. Thank you very much. For um, it has been another inspiring session chatting with another product of the iCreate Club. Vitaphone remains the ever supportive sponsor. Uh, of the, every one of the club's nurturing activities, as has been mentioned in previous weeks, our viewers get a chance to win Vitaphone Memory a Pillow after the show. For more information, visit the iCreate Club's Instagram page at iCreate Club NG for more details.